This is the chalk bass, a type of little fish found in the Caribbean Sea, found on the coastal areas of Florida, Bahamas, and Venezuela, among other places, and it has one of the most interesting reproductive strategies that I've come across in a while. All chalk bass are what is known as synchronous hermaphrodites, meaning they have both female and male reproductive organs at the same time and produce both the female and male gametes. Now, this is not unheard of amongst the animal kingdom, particularly among insects and fish. However, what is interesting about the chalk bass is that they don't self-fertilize, meaning they don't fertilize their own eggs with their own sperm, which is what is mostly seen amongst other synchronous hermaphrodites. What happens instead with the chalk bass is that they do reproduction like normal, however, they act as either the male or the female sometimes. They do kind of a little switcheroo depending on kind of what they are feeling like. During some mating events, one individual will act as a female and then during another mating event, it will act like the male. And again, this is not unheard of amongst fish species or other areas in the animal kingdom, but what is very unique about this is that it can happen so, so frequently. Individual chalk basses have been seen switching up their gender roles up to 20 times per day, which is honestly gotta be exhausting. Another point about the chalk bass, which is very interesting, is that they're mostly monogamous. Most of these gender swaps and mating switches will occur between the same two individuals each time. Now, this doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes fish are promiscuous instead of monogamous, which is, yes, the biological term, the science term for that. But most of the time, they are with the same partner and they just take turns. Now, this does have an evolutionary advantage. From an evolutionary standpoint, sperm is less costly to produce and use than eggs. So by switching up who uses which gametes, it kind of evens out the cost of reproduction over both individuals instead of ha one individual having a higher reproductive cost than the other one, which gives an evolutionary advantage and kind of boosts the success rate of both individuals in spreading their genes throughout the generations.